Hey Gapsters, how are you Gapsters doing? Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Today I am bringing you a kitchen clean. Today we're cleaning a new part of the house. You guys have seen me do the bathroom and now we are moving to the kitchen. My mother, my sister and my niece were actually coming the day after this was being filmed. So I was specifically cleaning for them. Eh? And specifically I was cleaning for my mother who likes to judge me and my cleanliness levels. So I was cleaning for her Gapsters. It's not a deep clean because because most of these things I would do anyway but there's a couple of extra things that I did specifically because my mother was coming I started off with packing up the dishes that I'd washed the night before yes I do rewash and reuse all my sandwich bags especially the resealable ones if I get them I reuse them and I rewash them and then I just filled up my water bottle because you must always have some cold water in the house even though it is freezing and no one should be drinking fridge water in this moment in time where we find ourselves I cannot believe how cold it is Gapsters I am freezing already I switched on the kettle because I actually uh, switch off the geezer most of the time I only switch it on just before I wash so I use kettle water if I need to like wash dishes or do like a wipe down of counters or things like that that's what I use and most of the time I generally don't need like hot water during the day it's just that when you have to clean you need some hot water because it's better it's better for your fingers and your hands not to be dealing with that cold water mess it's easier to remove stains with warm water and you know what I mean you know what I mean so I just basically packed up everything and my hot water bottle capsters is out my bay is officially out of the closet and is here. I use that hot water bottle every day. Nothing comes between me and my bay. Nothing. And then I start washing the dishes that I created that morning. This cleaning routine is um, not a deep clean like I said. Because I'm not like cleaning anything like extra 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 but like there are a couple of extra things that I do for those people that like to come to your house and judge you you know those people that like pretend to touch a counter but actually they're looking for dust yeah you know those ones so um I saw somewhere on the internet how to clean the inside of your kettle my kettle is currently looking disgusting yes dis disgusting and the trick is you're supposed to cut up like a lemon and put the lemon in the kettle or in my case I used lemon juice so I basically just filled up that kettle with water I put in some lemon juice in there and I set it to the boil and you guys gonna see the miracles that had happened you're gonna see this thing works Gapsters it works I'm gonna show you in a bit and you're going to be amazed yes you can thank me later I just topped it up with extra lemon juice and extra water because I hadn't filled it up to the top initially and I just thought it made better sense and then I'm using just basically like warm soapy water I've got nothing else in that water except for like hot water some cold water and some dishwashing liquid and that's it I didn't put any bleach or any other like really strong cleaning chemical on there because my cupboards are painted and you don't want um, it bleach will make the paintwork patchy basically so your people are coming you know they're gonna be judging your gapsters so what do you do so things to pay attention to I know normally we wipe down kitchen counters and things like that but you also want to be like paying attention to the knobs because you know when you're cooking and you have to open a door and na, 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 and the knobs get like sticky and that kind of stuff when people people check those check the knobs if there's any grooves in your cupboards or as you open the cupboard door you guys will see if anything like sort of spills down it goes into those little grooves so pay attention to wiping the top of the actual cupboard door door and any way where basically there's a groove or anything like that because that is where dirt will collect so you know just pick your spots and you will see in the fridge here I'm actually wiping the top of the fridge because there's a groove you know where you put your fingers to open the fridge door there's a groove and there dirt collects so just wiping down the fridge nothing major you guys get to see my empty fridge mm, shame oh shame 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 Do you see that, Gapsters? 
Did you see that kettle gapsters? I yeah yeah no this trick works. I'm sorry you guys this trick works. Moving on to actually the cleaning of the fridge. Basically you want to remove like plastic things because sometimes you have dust collecting under there and you work when someone takes out like a milk carton for instance and they look into the glass they'll see sometimes maybe there's dirt trapped underneath so you just want to do like a quick wipe of the inside of the fridge wiped down the stove the stove was very clean actually it didn't really require this was just a wipe down to remove the dust <laughs> Ooh, Gabby 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 yeah so I wiped it down I did not wipe down the inside of the oven because my mother should not test me and ask me when last I cleaned the oven because I'm just gonna be like lady 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 and then I wiped the wall next to the stove because like if you're frying if you're frying stuff, uh, all the oil splashes onto the wall. So I basically wiped that down. And then I also wiped down like any light sockets and I wiped down the outside of the kettle and anyway, and then the windowsill as well. And basically these are all areas that just give your kitchen that extra and any room in the house basically. And it's in the small details, Gapsters. It's in the small details. So things like wiping down, um, like the kitchen sockets, wiping down the windowsill, all of those things are the things that move like your cleanliness from like an A plus to a, you know, like a B or an A, you know? So it's just these little steps that just give the room a little bit of an extra glow. And then I'm wiping down that counter where the, I'm a drip dryer. I drip down, I drip dry my my plates and my dishes and that kind of stuff but here you'll get like water spots and things like that and I don't have a cloth that I put underneath I know some people put a cloth or a tray or something I don't have that so I just every so often I'll come in here and wipe it down and just remove all the water spots it doesn't take long I use like warm soapy water sometimes you can use like bicarbonate of soda and like vinegar combination if you've got like hecticness going on there but I didn't and once I'm done with that cloth that I use to clean up everything, this is when like I sort of bring out like bleach and fabric washer stuff. What do you call it? Then I soak that cloth and basically I only washed it out the following day. Let me be honest. And then later on that night, Gapsters, it got late, I had to go somewhere. And then later on that night I came back and I basically prepared the room for mopping. This is nothing major, I basically removed everything that was on the floor. And then I swept the room and then I mopped it. I did like a proper mop, I didn't do like that dry mop. You know that dry mop where you wet the mop and then you dry it, you wring it out so that it's not like dripping wet and then you go in and mop. I didn't do that because I mean, I mop this kitchen properly once a week and then midweek, like if there's spillage or anything like that, I'll fetch the mop and mop that specific spot. So once a week, I like to go in and do like a proper mop. And I find that if I do like a wet mop process, it actually manages to also pick up any sort of spillages that is in the groove, in the grouting. So yeah, so you're able to catch anything that's in the, in the lines in between the tiles and all of that kind of stuff because you want to be able to catch that stuff. You don't want it to build up too much because once it builds up, it's much harder to take out. So here I am mopping away, making you guys feel so good, so nice, so good, so nice. So I'm mopping away here and yeah, I mean, mopping is sort of self-explanatory, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I let it dry overnight y'all. I was tired. It'd been a long day. I woke up the following day. I put everything back where it was supposed to be and I basically waited for mommy and them to come and mommy was very happy to see everything so clean and so neat and yeah. Gapsters let me know if you, let me know what other kind of video you'd like to see. Let me know if you'd like to see sort of like a deep 
fridge cleaning video so I can actually because I need to defrost my fridge in order to do that or you want to see like a deep stove cleaning video or I actually really enjoy filming these um, cleaning videos I think I actually found my niche like I found something that I really enjoy doing I love filming these videos for you guys because you know you know you know and yeah it's been really cool if you have any other tricks like cleaning the like you know how I showed you how to clean a kettle let me know what else do you use in the kitchen to clean up any other appliance in the kitchen that seems a bit hard or difficult to clean but you actually have figured out a quick and easy cleaning method for it I am still looking for somebody to please advise me on how to clean blinds because I still haven't figured that one out and my blinds I think are due for another cleaner room another cleaner room but yeah let me know if you guys know any other idea and let me know in the comments below otherwise I hope you're having a wonderful 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 day and I will see you in the next video bye gapsters So I guess there's groceries, I'll show you the end bit at the end, but the family just arrived, so I'll just show you the full fridge at the end, okay, because I'm not, <laughs> okay, that's what we're going to do, you see, this is why I can't film, because you hear all that noise, buying gapsters. <laughs>